Adults aren't the only ones chafing at stay-at-home rules and regulations. Steve Hartman has proof. She seems harmless enough, but nine-year-old Daphne Garnier is part of a growing resistance in America. I'm being bad. Lately, she's been ticketing her parents for things like not trying to work it out, not listening to me, and adding corn to the chili. I didn't want corn in my chili, and she added it. It seems like maybe you've got a little shorter fuse. I know that. I'm trying to work on it, but... How's your quarantine going? Not very good. <laughs> Cute, right? No. Did King George think it was cute when his little brat spilled tea in the harbor? That's why this concerns me. Across the country, kids are picking up their pitchforks for the tiniest grievances. There was peace in the land. What happened? This is Farhad uh, Manju. We went for a walk, and it was too long of a walk, apparently. He says that triggered a written demand from his two children for more control and later bedtimes. Yeah, it says here, if you do not sign, we will declare war on the parents and there's no signature. So I assume war is happening? Yeah, war broke out that day. My kids took my wife prisoner, which basically meant she got to nap in my son's room, uh, but they left the lights on. Left the lights on? <laughs> Alert the Hague. And then there's 10-year-old Jackson Fine, who issued a travel ban to his parents. You've banned all entry to your room because of coronavirus? Because of coronavirus and the revolution. This is every day. Jackson now considers himself a separate state with his own national anthem, which he appropriated from the country of Tajikistan. He plays it on a constant loop as torture for his dictator parents. They just don't seem to understand what a democratic government is. Can I talk to the enemy? Oh uh, yeah, you're gonna regret it. This is King Mike. Yeah. How did it get this far? Unfortunately, his unit on the American Revolution uh, came right before. And Mike says he's been drafting manifestos ever since. It says here, they forced me to make unfair agreements that I don't have any say in. Isn't that just being a kid? Yeah, but it doesn't feel like being a kid. It feels like life. It is life. Well, then I'm in for a rough ride. <laughs> yeah, you are in for a rough ride. <laughs> Parents in America have never been more inept. Third one today. Children in America never more fed up. So after you sew your mask, you may want to save some fabric for your white flag.